All right, so looking at making some mods to the boat this winter. <clears throat> I'd like to be out on the water right now, but it's uh, <sighs> just not advantageous. It's been pouring rain for a couple days. Had had a break yesterday. It was kind of nice, but anyway, looking at some mods for the boat. Um, one of the, one of the big ones is the windshield. Um, the way I built this, I've got an angle here that I had to bend the uh, plexiglass to fit and then bolt on. Um, and the same here, so I had to bend the plexiglass here as well. And um, so I kind of built that framework for plexiglass. And um, I, I really want to go to glass because the plexiglass just even after the first few runs just kind of sucked. Um, you know, I, don't, I haven't looked into whether you can polish the stuff or get water to come off of it easier. It tends to hold water. Um, seems to be hard to clean. It's easily scratchable. Um, so I just really want to get rid of it and put glass on this thing. So there's a local company, Roseburg Glass, that does, does stuff like that. I talked to a friend of mine and um, he's doing the same thing, I guess. Uh, which made total sense. So I think this framework is going to come off. Probably just going to redesign it because I don't know if I can really use this. You know, and he was mentioning the critical thing is getting your framework flush, like perfectly flush for the glass. Um, because, you know, if it's off or warped, um, you're going to have a problem there. Or you're gonna have a you know you have to make it fit somehow with your the frame that holds it and the sealant whatever but <clears throat> um it might be something i'll just um i'll make up and then take into them and have them cut it for it before i actually install the frame on the boat um i'd like to keep an access point on one side so i would still be theoretically using a hinge but um you know so that's kind of a, a mod I, I really want to get done and the thing is i need to flip the boat over again to um finish the bottom put the extra uh shielding on the bottom of the hole for the extra strength but um so to flip it back over this being gone would be an ad you know would be advantageous the only thing that sucks is you know i got this foam on here which is held up really well I was surprised. I mean, if you clean your metal and you use the, the, I think it was the 3M spray adhesive um, and the stick back from these, it's like, I, don't, I don't know. It seems like you'd have a tough time getting it off. And I did have to heat it here. I can't remember what I did here, but it was either, I might have had to weld something there. I'm not sure. But, you know, that got a little bit of heated. But even then, you know, so obviously separated from the glue from the heat but otherwise the stuff's just held up awesome and this is the cheap stuff from amazon i think i don't think there was quite this gap so i think there was a little bit of shrinkage um i'm pretty sure i put that together pretty well or tight so <clears throat> anyway i popped that off popped the windshield off um pulled you know got the boat again and flip it over and my thoughts on the hole is instead of you doing UHMW you know the keel is is uh is three eighths so it's pretty heavy duty and I already have UHMW on it but it did sub sustain some damage on rocks so that UHMW will can't really see it from here but it will tear and it does wear so you know it has a life a lifespan, you know, and um, what I'd like to do on the rest of it, this is quarter inch, um, is just put another quarter inch plate. I don't think I want to go three eighths on it, but I'd like to do, you know, from the keel all the way to the edge of the, um, the chines. Um, not really sure about that, but it, that would be, you know, maybe why I have the boat upside down. I don't know. I might just take it to a fab shop, have them cut it out and bend it to fit. But <clears throat> the way I wanted to install it 
was actually put thick beads of um, rain sealant, just like you do with the UHMW, um, and set the metal on it and let it cure. And then I would like to uh, weld secure it from there. And I figured I'd have some plug welds through the middle, um, possibly. Um, and then of course on the edges. So on the edges, I might add a piece of metal to combine the two, but I want a gap of cushion with the sealant because the sealant doesn't cure rock hard. It, you know, it has some cushion to it. So you'd, I'd have an extra layer of metal there in that extra layer, the chances of going through that, the gap that's going to exist between them and the rest, the inside hole, is pretty slim. And if it doesn't do damage to the inner hole, then essentially you can just you can repair whatever you did, whatever happens. Now, won't necessarily keep from happening what happened to me this spring, which was this part right here just buckling up. But the thing is, it dented it right in front of the of the transom and and pushed it up. So I'm not sure, you know, how that would play out with my scheme. You know, the UHMW may have a little more uh, cushion to it. I'm not sure. But, you know, UHMW is soft, but it's not that soft. I don't know. It's just just a thought. I, I kind of like the idea of putting metal on there that I can actually repair. Um, like, a you know, it's kind of a sub hole, if you will. Um, so we'll see. But that's my thought right now. Um, once I get it gutted out again, flipped over, I think that's what I want to do. Um, but also, <clears throat> this swim deck is like really short and you're really dependent on kind of pulling yourself up and out of it you know because this the deck does sit you know a couple inches above the water when it's static just out in the middle of the water um if, you're, if i'm standing on it this this will touch or be in the water a little bit um but it's just not much swim deck to get up on <clears throat> i'm talking to my buddy he's got one he he's got a three foot swim deck so <clears throat> What I want to do is actually just extend the hole out at least another foot, maybe more. So maybe give it another 16 inches. I'd like to just have a huge swim deck and just extend the sides of the hole, extend the swim deck, weld it all together, just be a permanent part of the hole. And right now this boat is 13 foot 4 inches and according to the state rules um, you know, you measure from the, the furthest point on the boat, not the transom. Um, so that's the way I, I sent it in. I took pictures, measuring it from the tip all the way to the edge of the end of the transom. That's what they accepted and registered it as. Um, had pictures with the tape measure, the whole works, you know, so they, they knew what was being measured and what was being registered. So... I also want to extend the front of the hole. Um, so I want to bring this out further up to maybe an extra 18 inches, somewhere in there. So I'm thinking about bringing it out to here. Part of the reason that, that is, is that, you know, being at the front of the hole is out of the water. I've got an extended version that I can use to board the boat and also more room on the deck so the boat's gonna end up being i don't know probably over 16 feet something like that you know at least 18 inches in the front probably 16 inches in the back i guess that's it's almost three feet longer so it might end up being like you know 16 two or something but um you know, shouldn't add that much weight. Not too worried about that. It's not a, really a speed boat anyway. You know, I've, I've never really even considered it that much of a mini boat just because of its size, the, the depth of its hull. You know, it's it's a pretty good sized boat to call it a, a mini jet boat. 
Um, you know, you can fit three adults and a kid in your lap, and you know all the gear you want in the engine compartment. Some people, you know, with the size of a hole or bigger, are actually putting seats in the back next to the engine. You know, so to me, you know, I, I've been on this river since I was a kid. You know, skiing buying fourteen foot boat. So you know, when you're pushing fourteen feet, that's not a personal watercraft. <laughs> you know, um, it's it's pretty much just a boat. So we'll see how all these mods work out. You know, um, it'll be a little bit different, but I think it'll be a little more usable. The swim deck will be definitely more comfortable. Um, the other thing I might add to it is some way to get the ski rope um, higher than these connections here. So I might actually put something on here that um, more resembles a, a ski tower, you know, and pulls from a higher point. It just seemed like it'd be easier with the tubes and and a skier because especially with the skier you know being down in the water and coming up out of the water um when they're being pulled from a higher point it just makes it easier to get up especially uh old 52 year old plus uh skiers but anyway that'd be interesting new windshields getting the glass i think that'll be a nice finish for that you know possibly a, a tower in the back of some kind to, to pull skiers a little more comfortably reinforced hull um i guess it'll be interesting to see how the aluminum idea works out and i'm not sure how far forward i'm going to come but i was i guess if i have to modify this whole front end then i may have to deal with that damage otherwise i'm kind of okay with it that part of the boat's not really heavy in the water at any point so but the metal on the bottom is going to have to come up and stop at a certain point i'm kind of thinking it'll just match the uhmw so uhmw kind of angles back like this you know which kind of brings me back beyond my my damage point my bend points right there but you know everything's holding up great sat in the water all summer didn't leak a bit and um you know the hole's obviously pretty tough so i just want to mitigate the the rock damage when i hit something but uh anyway i don't know how um how much i'm going to be able to get done in what period of time obviously if i'm going to gut the boat and do all that i kind of just want to get to it but you know got other projects got another property to work on got sheep showing up up the, up there not a whole lot that has to be done there but i've got some definitely some spring work to do early spring so next two three months you know if i can get it in and i don't want to miss too much of the spring uh, boating so um it'd be interesting to be on the water right now it's like i think it got over seven feet last night you know and three thousand is um or excuse me three feet three and a half feet is right about where it's really good running you know with the rapids and all that right now i'm thinking most things are washed out which would be really cool just to get out there knowing you're just above everything and just cruise the river you know especially down the bigger rapids that have a, a, a bigger drop you know like burkhart i'm pretty sure there's wash points now to go around that um and I've never come up it just because the water, the, the way the rapids work. A um, little bit freaky at the angles that they run. I've gone down it, if you've seen the videos. But um, it'd be pretty cool just to get out there and, and run the river the way it is right now. So I'm hoping, you know, I have some, um, maybe some, some spring water that comes up higher. You know, after I get the mods done to the boat and um, get it back to where I can I can dunk it and go for it anyway later all